broke new ground because um, it was the first um, autobiography where somebody actually told the truth. And uh, Jimmy had um, <clears throat> just come out of um, a, a heavy drinking session. And um, I was um, close enough to him to say, look Jim, this, this is ridiculous. Are you, you going to carry on like this for the rest of your life? Or are you going to get sober out of your mind? He said, no, what a great line. Let's go and get sober out of our mind. And this was 1978, and uh, neither of us have touched a drop since, and we, we both stopped drinking. And uh, the, the book acted as therapy for Jim. It was a, he put himself on the couch and uh, opened his heart, and uh, he's helped a lot of people who've got the drink problem. If there's anybody out there yeah. who does have a drink problem, I, I, I do recommend that they try to get a hold of the book. It teaches you to take it a day at a time and you, you can conquer it, because Jimmy was a lost soul, and look what he's achieved since 1978. Now I think, um, obviously, we're used to confessionals these days, sportsmen confessing this, that and the other in books, but it's hard to tell the young ones how rare that book was. This one's on me was a rarity then, but it was ex-players or had, hadn't Done anything like well, you call it a confessional book. Um, well, as I, I, I think therapeutic yeah. it was better for Jimmy at the time. Um, he, he got very little money for it because everything he earned then was going to the tax man because to get rid of his tax debts. And so he didn't do it for profit. And uh, he did it t to help himself, really. And uh, you know, I was you know, very pleased to be the guy who was sitting there listening to him and uh, getting it down on paper. Was it fun? I mean, I don't know if fun's the right word, but was it... Well, a lot of it was fun because, uh, as you possibly know, I, I, I do have Spurs leanings, and so I, I got a lot of inside information about Tottenham's glory, glory years. And how is Greasy today? Well, Jim and I, uh, if you don't mind me um, t telling you a bit of personal no. medical history, but um, I was lying in hospital um, just over a year ago, having had a heart attack, and uh, I got a call from James. And he let me talk for 20 minutes about my problems and how I was going to fight it. And after 20 minutes, I said to him, and how are things you're in, James? He said, oh, he said, I've just had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> he had a stroke the same week that I had a heart attack. Uh, but, but we're both recovering and uh, we've both become he, Victor Meldrews and we're both grumpy <laughs> old men. And he's okay? Yes, yeah, he's, very, he's, he's, um, he's back on the road doing his comedy act. And he's one of the best stand-up comedians you'll ever hear. But I'm not sure he's adequately remembered for the player he was. I'm not, I'm not sure he's talked about often enough. Well, there's an unlucky generation growing up who didn't have the pleasure of seeing Greasy. But let me tell you that um, he was as good as Messi is today. And uh, that is not an exaggeration. And could Messi have done it, done, done it in the 70s against the likes of Bunch of Legs Hunter, Peter Storey, Chopper Harris, Tommy Smith at the Anfield Iron, you know, the, the, these were allowed to kick you from behind. Well, that's been taken out of the game now. What would Jimmy achieve today if somebody wasn't kicking him up in the air every five minutes? So therefore, if you're equating with Messi, then Jimmy Greaves was a great player, not just a good player. Jimmy was undoubtedly a great player, and there are 357 goals to back back up what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm not I'm not biased because I, I can point to the evidence. 357 goals, 44 goals for England in 57 matches. Well, Bobby Charlton scored um, 49, but he played 106 times for England. So um, I'm just I mean I'm conscious these days of I I I happen to personally believe that the word about modern day players, great, is used, sprinkled around like confetti. Somebody yeah. has a half a dozen good games and somebody's they're a great player. I reserve it for the likes of, you know, Pele and Vesti and, and such well, like. Well, can I tell you one step oh. further? He was stupendous. Just, <laughs> just not great. And, and it's, it's not bias, uh, Vernon. No, uh, no, no, no. You no know, I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I saw him play. He was a, he was a Bobby Dazzler. He was, just, he was worth the entrance fee alone. Yeah. And uh, people always say that he was dropped by Alf Ramsey. He was never ever dropped by Alf Ramsey. He, he got injured after three matches in the 1966 World Cup. And so he wasn't dropped. Alf just didn't want to change a winning team. So Jimmy didn't get his place back. He was never ever dropped.